Carinos, welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are feeling peachy today. And this is a bit of a blast from the past because today we are going to be doing a cast Monday where we actually make a sim based on a character or a person in a game or in real life, which I know we've not done for a while. I've been doing cast Mondays and cast challenges, but I haven't actually done a true cast Monday in a little while. But tonight on my Twitch channel, I am going to be streaming the final episode of The Last of Us 2, which has been such an amazing, amazing game to play with you guys my first like, first like Twitch playthrough and it's just been a bunch of fun. So I thought to kind of celebrate that, something that you guys have been asking for was for me to recreate some of The Last of Us 2 characters on uh, The Sims. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. I actually have a pretty realistic, well, it's, it's I feel like this is going to help us. It is Ellie's in-game face. So I'm going to be giving Ellie a go uh, a go first and obviously I want to get this video up before I start my stream so we'll see how much time we have to make some other characters too. But don't forget if you guys enjoy this, if you want to see more of the more traditional cast Mondays, please give this video some love hit that like button let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys never missed a video i was checking recently and only 30 percent of you guys have that notification bell turned on so make sure you switch it on otherwise you won't get to find out when my videos go live and let's get into it guys let's go ahead and try and make ourselves an ellie i'm gonna pop her at the side so i've got her as like a basis to use and yeah it, it really has this is just a sim that obviously came with uh cast when i opened it, it really has been a little while since i'm trying to make people in real life it's difficult you know actually trying to make people like that look as realistic as uh games characters like ellie and um obviously naughty dog did an amazing job at making her look like a real life person i know she has a face model but i think they tweak it after that so i do think it's gonna be uh pretty difficult for me to get her looking similar but i'm gonna give it my best shot because i've really really enjoyed playing as her those eyes i look at these color eyes and then look at this color is it just me or is that very similar i feel like that's very similar and eye shape i always find eye shape a little bit tough in uh, The Sims. I just don't, I feel like I need to get the sliders thing that allows for additional like movements. But the thing is the last time I added sliders to my game, what ended up happening is that they messed with everybody that previously uh, did not use face sliders. So I'm just trying to be real careful with that. I also don't like, you see how it's given like this quite black line above her eyes. Obviously Ellie is in an apocalypse, so she won't be wearing any makeup and stuff. And I don't think there's a slider for eyelids like, that you can get, you can definitely get one because I saw it on Tumblr the other day. But I don't think the game naturally has eyelids for sliders, which is super annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some more realistic eyebrows on her. See if that kind of helps us a little bit. She does have a cut along her eyebrow. Uh, however, the ones that have cuts along the eyebrow just aren't similar at all. So I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, that one could. I think I have a single cut version of that. Okay, if I can make these thicker. Oh, why have you got to be so thin? You'd be so perfect, but you're so thin. Look. She has like the cut on her eye here, but it's just, the eyebrows are so thin. That's like a double cut. She doesn't have a double cut. Her eyebrows are actually shaped more like that. Oh, you're good, but you're on the wrong side. 93, 93. How can I have this many eyebrows? <laughs> and I can't find one that works. <gasps> okay, look, 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 look. I need to change the angle. She's kind of got a little bit sad eyebrows. However, that's pretty perfect. I'm also kind of realizing I don't have, I don't really have ponytail hairstyles. And obviously she's got a pretty distinctive like pony like kind of messy apocalypse bun uh however her hair just does change a little bit like as it progresses so i can just maybe tweak a little bit instead and go for like one of her other hairstyles and the side of her profile is definitely really really different to this so and the one thing i noticed when playing her is she's tiny like she is like kind of muscular skinny that is how i would describe her body type and she's got a very cute little button nose too kind of like that sort of thing maybe that's a bit too bulbous maybe thinner at the end but definitely that kind of shape that you can see it like kind of like a little cute sort of like triangular shape at the end here but it should be easier since like you know it's a video game character but somehow somehow it's actually harder because i'm trying to compare like these graphics to these graphics <laughs> Which is obviously kind of very different. Okay, I'm gonna see if adding some skin details and stuff helps. I think I think her mouth's too big. I'm gonna make her mouth a bit smaller. She looks kind of sad, but she kind of is sad in this. If you guys are watching the playthrough, you'll know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have watched it. It's uh, obviously very different to what I normally play, but I kind of really enjoyed doing something different because obviously I've been playing a lot of Sims for a really long time. So I found it really enjoyable to just play something completely 
different. But my channel never really started out as a Sims channel. It was like a variety kind of games channel. So it was kind of fun to go back to that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a freckles. Oh, it's tough because I want to layer it up quite a lot. I'd need kind of like a more textured base, not a max as much base. I think more of like a realistic base. Okay, I'm like, she looks real, but she also looks so creepy. <laughs> I've caught this eyelid on her, which is the MS Sims eyelid, which actually maybe uh, looks too makeup-y. So I kind of like that because it takes away the makeup of it. Although she kind of does have a lot of texture around her eyes. I'm wondering whether instead of trying to go super realistic, I should just try and do it in my own style. I don't know. It's hard. So then I've got on this face here, this S Club Boy face, and that is what has given her that ultra textured realistic skin. I need to give her that like, you know, apocalypse vibes kind of look. Plus, like, that one looks so real. Like, the graphics in this game, honestly, are just mind-blowing. I say it while I'm playing. You guys say it in the comments as well. Like, they really are, like, that good. So, I want to try and get something similar. See, I want to give her more freckles. But look, she doesn't have them so much on her body. She just has a lot on her face. But this one's giving them on her neck. But then it is giving her on her forehead, which I don't currently have. So, I'm just going to have to accept some neck frecks. I think we're okay for now. Let's go ahead and add... I'm going to add eyelashes, but I don't want to add, like really big ones like yeah i feel like that's too much what about if we went for like something like this a little bit more low-key instead oh so I'm, I'm like looking in between them both absolutely loads i kind of feel like i need to pull down the tops of her eyes a little bit just a little bit but she's still got like a really young face bless her she goes through so much does the girl okay i have to put like a little bit of color under her eyes here just because she does have a little bit and then i'm kind of thinking these lips i might go a little bit darker on them like here okay so side profile and side profile it's kind of, I think, mine's got more, like, saturation to it, but then also, I do have this on. So, it's kind of, it's sort of hard to judge, isn't it? I'm gonna see if I can try and get, like, similar hair. I know it's put a little bit of smudginess around her eyes, because she does have that. Okay, look, look. that looks better. Look. Looks more like it. Okay, I feel like we've done a pretty good job. I feel like the hair is gonna really annoy us because I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get hair, even anything like it. I mean, at one point she kind of has hair like that, but the parting's on the wrong side. That might be the most similar hair though. Oh, the hair's always so hard. Cause it's not like that. It's like a ponytail, ho ow. <laughs> half tied back, half not tied back. Half ups and downs kind of vibes. But it's also got that messy apocalypse look, which is definitely the complete opposite to hair in the sims isn't it because sims hair is like glassy beautiful hair beautiful and um the last of us hair. i don't even know where i got half these styles from what is that coming from is it oh uh, it's from that okay whereas i mean you could see her with different hairstyles here's how she would look but apocalypse hair is hard in sims because not many people are making apocalypse hair for the sims you want sleek nice hair not like scraggly hair i guess that is probably it's weird it's, it's too saturated but i think that in terms of like the scraggliness at the bottoms is kind of similar to this let's see if we can get anything more similar though i mean it's that but like that's just a little bit too short she definitely got that sad kind of look perfect though i'm in, i'm happy with this so far i feel like this is good i always think these are good at the time though that i come back like and check them out in my cast like months later and i'm always what like, what we're thinking what was i even thinking because it's totally wrong i'm now somehow stuck into a little cycle of Oh, let's try loads of fun different hairs on her. <laughs> I wonder if they even had like a hairdresser in Jackson, you know? Like, I know it's a bun to the side, but the length is similar. The hair, the color's a little bit too rich, but like, look at the bits dangling down and the parting. I feel like that's the most similar we're gonna get. I don't think we're gonna get any better than that. And then here is like her outfit. So it's like a denim shirt over a t-shirt with some skinny jeans and converse. She also has a tattoo along this arm, which is her right arm, uh, that she uses to cover up her bite. So, denim shirt over a t-shirt. So, I got that, but it could work. If if there's nothing else, this could work. I mean, that's pretty good, but it, it's the inner top that's wrong. Because if not, I've got like this, which could be better. That one's cool, but it's got spikes on it. <laughs> it's a bit too trendy for an apocalypse, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and get her some skinny jeans. This is as close as I can get. I wish this went lower, but it was never going to be identical. We're just trying to get it as like close as physically possible. I wonder if there is like a full Ellie outfit like CC online somewhere. There probably is, but I'm just trying to do it with what I've got. Okay, I can't even begin to tell you. I've tried on 
everything, including all of the, like, in-game stuff, which, you know, I never do. I never do that. But I really wanted a longer top inside, and I can't even tell you how much it's annoying me that I can't put a longer top inside, because it means now I can't put the jeans I want. Because she can't have a tummy out. Like, that's just not her character at all. Just, like, wandering around, like, some babe in a tum tum while she's in an apocalypse. Like, I just don't remember that scene whilst I was playing, so it really, really is annoying me. Okay, so I just gave her, like, her 17th outfit change. I can't find something that works. Okay, no, it's never gonna quite work. They're either gonna have too long sleeves, t-shirt's gonna be the wrong color, or her t-shirt ends too high, and I just, I just can't get it right, so I'm just trying to, like, get it as close as possible. And that's just the best I can do, I'm afraid. Jeez, those, those shoes look so clean. Like, she's meant to have, like, apocalypse shoes. Okay, they look a bit more, like, shabby. Slightly. Okay, I think... Right, we need to put her tattoo on and then we're pretty much almost done. So it's on her right arm and it's kind of like a a fern type thing. It's like a botanical vibes tattoo. Uh, however, that is not going to be the easiest thing to find, is it? As long as there's a tattoo in that general area, I think that might be the best we can hope for. Because I've got like a flower. <laughs> but I don't know if it's a little bit too little. So even though it's not the same, at, at least if I put that one there, you can kind of see that she's got the tattoo on her. Uh, I think Ellie is kind of done. Let me know what you think. I think the face is... I think she looks like age-wise. I think somehow I've got her looking more in between The Last of Us 1 and 2 than actually like... She looks a bit younger than she does in The Last of Us 2, but a bit older than she does in The Last of Us 1, which I don't really quite understand how I've done. But I feel like it's kind of close. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's taken me like an over an hour. So I think we have time for just one more uh, if I want to get this video out tonight. And I'm kind of like, I don't know whether to do Dina or whether to do Abby. I think maybe I should stick to the two playable characters. So I think I'm going to go for Abby. Oh, wow. And look, she is based on a real person. That's so cool. Ooh, okay. This YouTube video is a 4K view of her. This could definitely work. I might use this. Oh my gosh, and a side profile. Okay, we'll use this. That's a slight, that's younger Abby though, because she's got short hair. Okay. I will try and use this. Look how ridiculous this game looks. Like, if you play Sims for long enough, you think with all your CC, you get your Sims actually looking kind of good. And then you look at another game and you're like, okay, wow. <laughs> the other games just look so much better. Oh wow, look, man, look at that. That just looks real. That looks like a photograph. Like, what? Um, this is the start and sim I've got, okay? Let's just take everything off for now. And then, obviously, one of Abby's key characteristics is she is a strong lady. So, she's got, like, strong arms and stuff. I want to make sure I get her body shape similar. Like, this is what we're going for right here. I think this, this is kind of similar. Oh, look, I can make her forearms stronger. I feel like I like, I don't know her face as well. I know, I feel like I know Ellie's face pretty well. Abby's though, definitely less so. And I think they've kept her face models eye color. So she's got brown eyes. It's, it's hard. I feel like she's not got as many like defining characteristics as Ellie. Like her face is just a little bit harder to do, but I'm going to try and get it right. Because like Abby's character is a funny one. At the beginning, I don't want to spoil too much, but your attitude towards her is probably going to change like quite a lot as you play the game. I know mine did loads and I ended up like... I've not finished it yet, obviously I'm finishing it tonight, but currently I, I I really like her. So I don't know how, she's got like a bump in her nose. Like she might have broken it in the past or it might just be her face shape. I have no idea how to add that in Sims. But I've tried, I've tried to add it the best I could. Let's try and give her that like side profile. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm gonna do similar of, as what I did with Ellie and see if like adding some skin details is gonna help because she's also kind of like I wouldn't say she's as freckly So it's, like, it's the texture that like makes them look like last of us characters I also realize I haven't looked at her skin color in at all So I say she's more like here and then texture texture texture. See that one looks right But it's trying to make her really smiley. I don't want her to look really smiley. Okay. I feel like this is starting to look like her I don't want to speak too soon, but I do feel like we're starting to get kind of close. I went for this pause overlay just to give her... Although, actually, I'm kind of thinking without. I think she looks better without. Okay. And then it's this skin here, which is the proline skin. 
plus uh, these Remersion freckles too. I feel like that's doing pretty good. I also added some lightness under her eyes because the proline gives quite a heavy bug. So I did put this proline number one under eye just to like soften it a bit because she doesn't have like heavy bugs under her eyes. Although I've now just gone ahead and put this on and that looks even more like her. And I've switched out her brows as well. Okay, I feel like we're getting there with her. I'm gonna go for kind of fair eyelashes on her because she's kind of like blondie brown. Those eyes, those eyes are blue, aren't they? She's got bluey eyes, which I did not realize. So I'm gonna switch out for these like bluey brown ones. Maybe these ones here because they're still pretty dark. And I feel like her face is shorter and wider than what I've currently got it. And her Bottom lips kind of full, but her top lips a bit thinner. Man, I remembered why I don't do these anymore. It's hard. It's really hard. Okay, her hair is in a French braid. Like, you know, where it crosses from the very top. And side part, and it's like blondie brown, like dirty blonde. However, I mean, this is technically a French braid, but hers looks nothing like that at the front, so that's not really gonna work. It's kind of like that sort of color. So I think I'm just gonna do what I did with Ellie, where whatever looks good from the front, and has the same look from the front is what I'll go for. This is her hair, by the way. So look, just some little bits and then French ponytail. She looks dead cute and sweet there. And then, oh, if you were a side part and you'd be so perfect. You even got French part. Like, why is your parting down the middle? Ugh, none of them are quite right. Like, literally that is, it's like 95% of the way there. It's just the parting. It is just the parting. I could just go for like in motion hair. Again, really close, but... Why is the forehead so tiny? I could always pull her forehead down a bit. I know it doesn't have the bits, but it might be as close as we're gonna get. Okay, they've both got really different aesthetics. <laughs> She's like ultra real looking, kind of looks more similar to the game. She's, I'm, I'm now wondering if I should change Ellie's skin details to try and make, oh, I was gonna change her hair as well. Uh, just, I want them to look like a set, you know? And right now they don't look like a set. It really bugs me as well that I'd spent ages finding a split, an eyebrow split. <laughs> And then uh, you can't even see it if I give her this hair. Okay, after all that, I messed with the face a lot just to try and tweak her a little bit. And then I've decided to go back to her old hair. <laughs> so that was all just so, so pointless. But oh well. I think, I think she looks way better. Like she looks more similar to me. But let's go ahead and try and dress her. Um, I think I have a top like this in, um, I just think I have it in the masculine section, but all I'm looking for is, sorry, you can't see what I'm looking at. I'm looking for this shape here, like this kind of like tank top, but with the wider straps at the top. I mean, that's it, but that just doesn't hang very nicely at all. Like it goes out in a triangle. That bottom half is kind of, she's kind of got combat pants on and uh, the boots, which is perfect. Then when I put this top on, it takes them off. I'm like, why'd you take it off? <laughs> Why do you do that? I can't wear it with that one either. I only can wear it with little tops, why? What? Not even that one. Or that, or that, or th are you kidding me right now? I don't know how it decides which tops it just won't allow it on, but very annoying. However, she can wear it with this one, so. Although I really like hate the stupid orange for no reason just being there. I think it's the only option we got. So I'm, I, let's go for that. I wanted to see if any of like the skin details would like increase her muscle definition. However, I don't think I've got any muscle specific ones, but I actually kind of feel like, I feel like Abby's better than Ellie. Let me Know what you guys think here is my version of abby uh facial and then full bod and then here is my version of ellie why I, I feel like your skin color is so wrong like what have i got wrong with your skin i don't know i just i think i prefer my abby like a hundred times over it must be the skin details i'm using but she just looks real like she looks way more real whereas i feel like ellie looks like a sim which i don't love that's a bit better you guys are gonna have to let me know which one you like better in the comments below so We've got Ellie from The Last of Us 2 and also Abby from The Last of Us 2. I would love to have done Dina, but I want to get this video up for you guys before uh, I stream tonight. So please let me know what you think of them in the comments below if you would like me to upload them so that you guys can download them and check them out as well. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a little while since it's been a Monday. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Join me tonight for our final episode of The Last of Us stream. Or if you've not watched any of it so far, head to more Claire Siobhan so you can check it all out. And and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.